Oh, hear me, king, for I must sing how you are the greatest at everything. Like letting a dragon burn down our city, a horrible side that wasn't pretty. Twas all your fault, and tis a pity. You were bad, you are to blame. Now hang your kingly head in shame. La 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 The king is bad, the king's to blame. He hangs his kingly head in shame. La 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 Let's move on to my background to do my review. Dunces and Dragons, requested by Ironclad Charger 66. Alright, so Dunces and Dragons is about when Spongebob and Patrick go into this medieval show and they were the two volunteers to go up on the stage and go jousting. But then they have a little accident and with Spongebob and Patrick flying out of the seahorses, they end up landing in the medieval times. That's the weirdest way to travel to another time. Hmm. And then from there, you meet the medieval Squidward, you get to meet the medieval Mr. Krabs, and medieval Sandy, and so on. And that's your adventure right there. Dungeons and Dragons, this is a great special. I really enjoy the special. I think it's creative. I really enjoy the fact of Spongebob and Patrick going to the medieval times. A lot of interesting things happen in this special, and I have to give credit to the writers for that. There's a lot of funny moments in the special as well. There's a lot of funny moments in the special as well. And it's actually really creative. And I just really dug the special all around. Medieval Plankton, he was really enjoyable here. And Karen in the Medieval Times being this globe was actually creative. I actually really liked that. And then of course you get Princess Pearl in the Medieval Times, which I enjoyed that as well. So I thought... The execution was really good. I, it's a well-crafted special. The pacing is actually really good. And I just thought this special was just really great. The action scenes in the special were cool. SpongeBob putting on that suit was very funny. I actually loved how SpongeBob said, Greetings, Iron Man! Oh my gosh, I, Spongebob saying Iron Man uh, to that guy, that was actually really creative. I actually enjoyed that he did a reference of Iron Man. I don't know if it was to the Marvel superhero. I wonder if it was just by coincidence, but I don't care. I consider it a uh, reference to the Marvel superhero, and I just really loved when he said, Greetings, Iron Man. <laughs> oh man. Just a lot of things in the special, they were just really enjoyable. My only flaw with the special is that once they meet Medieval Sandy, I felt like things could have been uh, handled a little bit more better. I felt like they kind of rushed to the finale of the special. Also, Patrick, he saved Medieval Sandy by spitting out all the saliva on her. I thought that was just really gross. Didn't really find that funny. Didn't really find that amusing. That was just kind of like, oh, okay, that's not necessary. But then again, that was their only choice. They had no water nearby, so I think, I guess that's a good reason to use it, right? <laughs> and plus, I do feel like they kind of rushed to the ending, but not by a whole lot, though. It still paced well either way in the finale. Overall, I really enjoy Dungeons and Dragons. It's funny, it's creative, the medieval times in the special were interesting. It was interesting to see how all the characters look like in the medieval times. Spongebob and Patrick being the only ones we don't get to see in medieval times because they're the one that's time traveling. But then, they're the ones that landed on the medieval times. But then again, they were on their medieval suits, so I guess it counts, right? I am going to give Dunces and Dragons an 8.5 out of 10. Subscribe to my channel. Comment to give me your thoughts on the Spongebob episode. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Like and share this video. I will always have... TAGA POWER!